Oh my God, it's Bruce Lee. Oh my God, Bruce Lee. Oh my God, man. You're not Bruce Lee, bro. Today's video sponsor is GVG where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shinkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel and yes, this is a pajama. Okay. I, I don't care, I guess. Anyway, for this video, I'm just showing you, uh, or at least telling you, this is not a review, uh, not even close, because there's not really much to review. It's rather me just telling you that if you do have an RX 7900 XTX, the RGB software is now available, okay? You can simply download the, the RGB software and change the colors, the RGB colors, on your 7900 XTX reference version, okay? So, this wasn't a thing, this wasn't a thing that was available at launch, it was released five days ago, I believe, uh, and you can, you can actually do, not, you can do much, but you can do the basic uh, with the software, you can change the color, several static colors, you can choose the color yourself, the gradient, uh, you can choose things like color cycles, you can choose Morse code, the breathing, and you can also change the color of the breathing, all those basic RGB effects, okay? So, if you have this card, once again, you can finally get rid of that uh, white LED, which I don't really like, and put the, the red LED, for example, or any color of your choice, like the color cycle, uh, because in my opinion, it just looks much better than the standard white LED, okay? It's just much better. Also, we have a firmware update when you install them. Um, the, the software, it asks, you, it asks you to update your firmware from the version 1.00.05 to the 1.00.06. I do believe that the only thing that's changed there uh, is the fact that the, the new firmware actually allows for RGB controls, the previous one didn't. But well, it, may, it might not be just that, okay? I'm almost certain it is, but it might have something there, I don't really know. For me, the card works the same as before, completely fine. But I just wanted to tell you this, basically. It's just a really short video telling you that the RGB software is available and a new firmware update, most likely for that RGB software and RGB control, is also um, is also there, okay? It's, it's an update. By the way, um, after you change the RGB effect, you do not need the software anymore. So if you just want to change the colors of your card from white to red, for example, like I did, you can just in install the software, update the firmware, it asks you to do it, so you accept, update the firmware, just change the, the color to red, apply, and then you can even um, uninstall the software because it will work flawlessly, okay? After you apply, it will be on the, um, on the card's memory and you do not need to have the software running all the time. Just run the software once, uninstall, and you're good to go. And well, guys, that's it for this video. Also, don't forget to, um, to leave your like and comment and all that crap. And in some hours, we're gonna have the 100k special live stream, okay? Because I recently hit the 100k subscribers mark. The, the meta, the meta, meta, yes, I think it's how it's pronounced. Uh, the meta, and I'm really, I'm really excited. I mean, it's 100k. I never, I never thought I would be, or I would reach these these heights, let's call them that, but I, I did, so I'm really excited and I'm just, I just want to work more and more and reach even higher, higher heights or higher levels, that's, that's all. Thank you for all the support and see you in the next video.